What's up, ATV Riders of VA? 276 shot back at you with another video, man. Right now, today, we're doing something new. We're just going to give you an update on the little projects that we have going on. Well, I have going on. We want to say it's like on our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, YouTube, ATV Riders of VA, we are growing tremendously. And um, it's about five, 600 riders that we all connect with and ride we aren't able to be able to get like everybody is always busy so we can't get everybody in the footage it's hard to do that but when we do ride and we get footage if we could get groups of like maybe you know five ten people here one day five ten people here that we mix it up you see you know it's, it's growth you know what i'm saying Hopefully, we'll be able to get everybody to either go to Red Oak or Busco. You know, it's other play Pine Lane. You know, we all be able to just link it. You know, everybody ride, get some good footage in. You know, right now with the projects we got going on, um, 1992 TRX 250X Honda. Trying to turn it into like a little drag bike. I mean, it's not going to be a drag by some just, it don't even got to be fast, man. I just want some, you know, nice loud pipe on it. Right now, the frame we got where I purchased it, someone had, you know, got into an accident and wrecked it. They had broke off the front bumper into the frame. So the bolts, we need to drill them out, re-thread some holes so I can put my fresh new bumper on there. We're going to try to powder coat this because that's going to be for Sugar Bear to ride, you know. It's 250X, you know. Uh, want to try to either, if I cannot find a kit to boil it over or do something, give it a little bit of juice because um, that right there is not necessarily a drag bike, but just something to play with on the strip whenever we go to, like, Red Oak or Busco. Another project, second project. I want to say this is the 2000 Yamaha Blaster. Either the, it's either the 99 or 2000. I can't remember, but got the frame powder coated a couple of months ago, probably about six, eight months ago. Motor is freshly rebuilt. Top, bottom end, new clutch basket. Um, I got an oil block off kit thing right here. I'm gonna just put on that. And uh, I wanna really touch that bike up, really. You know, that bike could also be for it. I want to use the Honda for it, but really, you know, with powder coating the bike, still going to ride it through the woods and stuff. Not really take that bike through the mud and the water. You know, try to avoid that with that bike. But uh, usually, I was, you know, my intentions with that project was to have that for the car show. You know, I had these two projects going on for maybe... If it's not four years, it feel like it. You know, I want to say three and some change, but the blaster was going to be for my car show project that we have on the Chestnut Isle, you know, either every year, every other year. Um, Snake, he has the car show. Either he has them at the mountain or either down the road. And uh, I was going to take that blaster down there to put it in the show, you know. Now, fast forward. Got a 1989 Chevrolet Caprice LS Broham. That project is an everyday car. I think that it makes more sense to take that to the car show and take this bike. You know, if I could have, if, if they're going to be on and off, we just ride down there, you know, load up everything. If we're going to go somewhere, you know, they do it at the sports complex, I might just well just drive the Chevy. But, you know, nobody want to see the old rusty bucket Chevy. So that's why we're going to take that project. I actually got my front grill. Still looking for the bumper. Still looking for the hood. So many projects going on. But it's a box right here, man. I got so many projects going on on top of the dogs, man. Dog houses right here. We're remodeling the kennels. You know what I'm saying? Got a lot coming up as far as the ATV package. The ATV. I will be having parts for sale, use that someone can put them on a bike and bring them to life. They've been sitting in here, and we're finna start getting rid of some of this stuff, making some room. And whatever we have, basically, what we'll do is uh, if we'll clean it up. If we don't post it on here, it'll be available on Marketplace. And uh, if it's not available on Marketplace, we definitely will post it on here or our Instagram page. Or, you know, just follow us on all social media. It could be on Twitter, you know. Make sure you give us a follow. All of it is ATV Riders of VA, you know? But um, right now, what I got going on is trying to situate. I got some 400 EX plastics for sale. 
<laughs> and horrible condition. Um, available, 276-340-0718. If you're interested in it, I'll send you a couple of pictures. Um, what else we have? Tires, parts, uh, exhaust, plastics. All of this stuff will be available. If you are interested in anything, you might think that I have, I know we have different parts. Just hit me up. We might have a couple of dirt bike parts still laying around here. Not too sure. But if you have any questions, give us a call. And yes, they are available. So if you're looking to get something, you know, instead of ordering on the internet, hit us up and we might have some parts laying around here for you. Hopefully we do. We got a lot of stuff, man. So. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. ATV Riders of VA's 276 Shock Man. I am out.